we're Si and Anne, otherwise known as Slaw and Mrs Slaw. In this series, we're driving the wild Atlantic way around the west coast of Ireland in our motorhome. We visit stunning beaches where the dogs love to have a run around. We drive through magnificent scenery at every corner. The west coast of Ireland is famous for the therapeutic power of a seaweed bath. We love a drop of the black stuff, so come along with us and enjoy our adventures. It's a rainy morning as we leave Ross's Point on day five of our adventures. The aim of this trip is to visit as many of the discovery and signature discovery points as we can. Barriers here. So you're not going in there? Nope. It's just a little bit side of the road. Yes, today's activity is Kilcullen's Seaweed Baths. Lovely. Let's get in the bath. It's supposed to um, be good for aches and pains. I need that. Rejuvenation. Yep. I'm getting it now then. Is it warm? Yeah. Give it as warm as you want. Are we going in them? No, we're going in the modern building. Oh, what is that? Uh, modern from 1912. 1912. It's a nice motor, huh? Look. Absolutely <laughs> filthy. <laughs> oh dear. That's okay. Hi. Hello. Hello. We've got <laughs> we've got um, a bath booked at half past and law. So it begins. Steamy windows. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> yes. It's all right, I'm a plumber. <laughs> Good. I'm a plumber. Could, you, could you stay here for the day? Yeah. Double time. Right. <laughs> Start off here. This yes. Steam box sauna. The reason that this is here is that it opens your pores. Yes. So that when you get into the bath, the iodine goes through your system and release the toxins. Yeah. Well, it's up or down, I just give you a mic like this. Okay? Okay. You sit here, head out there, close the door. Yeah. Very gently with the steam. So you can talk there. Oh, yeah. So you have to get a photograph of you in there. Absolutely. So, then hop into your bath, right? So, put your towels down here. These baths are over 120 years old. Yes. Cast iron yeah. and portions to keep in the heat. Yeah. But the freeze the back of your head. <sighs> so, just relax into your bath, then you have an hour. When you're finished, nice cold shower for the sea. This is all seawater, and that closes your pores again. Yes. And then, if you don't mind, just put the seaweed back in the bucket before you let yeah. the water out. Yeah. The, the drains are 120 years old as well. <laughs> towels there, and you can hang it close behind the door. Proper taps then. 
Are they? 120 years old. Nearly as old as you look. Cheeky. So, you were getting there first? Yep. Right, so you're going to have to turn the camera off because right. I'm putting my cosy on. <laughs> Get your kit off. No, I'm putting my cosy on first. For the viewers. <laughs> cosy first. Hang on then. You ready, yeah? This is how it goes. How is it? show you how to make your bath shorter, whereas I have. Yeah, because men don't need a bucket. <laughs> Big men. Oh, what a way to spend a rainy day, luxuriating in a hot seaweed bath. Oh, the short man with a glass of the uh, Prosecco. Prosecco, oh yeah. And, it, and some tennis bays. Yes, please, darling. Jeez! Can I please? Yes, please, darling. And Prosecco, please. I'll have a duty on the, on the rock. See me, darling. I'm going to earn this shoulder. <laughs> To go. Ta da! Dressed. You missed it. Shucks. Never mind. She's going skinny dipping. No, I'm not. So. <laughs> no, I'm not. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go.
And the sun's out. Whee! Let's go sunbathing. That was well worth 55 euros for both of us. Oh, absolutely. I feel like a new man. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound I, right, no. I, f I feel like a new man. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've still got you. I feel like a new woman, <laughs> what I meant to say. But then that doesn't sound right. No. Trying to air now. But we're not on we've no electric so we're on the eco floor. Yeah, just taking edge off so it don't go frizzy after being in seaweed. Super. You can dry your air for one hour one hour fifty minutes, love. <laughs> before we run out of power. Bye bye baths. Thank you for the experience. So Mrs. Slow just found me some Guinness. Um, and then she got a bottle of Prosecco and I'd have it in a brown bag. Yeah. Why didn't you have to have me Guinness in a brown bag? I don't know. Like America? Yeah, like being in Utah. Utah. Victory was short lived. The British won the Battle of Killala after 32 days. Give me your happy, give me your sad. I may be staying, I may be going, I may be left, I may fall apart. Come to my table, come to my bed, go.
Beautiful. Just need a bit of sun now. Wow. It's nice. <laughs> Whee! Woohoo! There you go. Oh, a lovely clam shell, I think. Oh, you need to. <laughs> no. Oh, look. look. Oh, yeah, just. That, isn't it? That's one hell of a big crab. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Size of my hand. Size of that crab claw. Hurry up, she's in. Oh, yes, she's in. Soggy dog. Soggy dog. Oh, beauty. My grandma used to have stuff like that. Wow. What you got? What's that? What have you got? Put that down. If you're not eating that, you'll be sick. It's a long way to the van. Where are we? Can't pronounce the Irish word, but it's uh, Mullagmore. Ah. Is it beer o'clock? Right, it's been a long day. Might have a Guinness. Of course you can. Yes, you can. I'm sorry, Bill, but I'm going to set that off you, Bill. <laughs> Good luck. Good boy. This is posh prosecco, isn't it? Fridge. You cooking tea then? Me? Mm -hmm. If it's your fridge. No, I mean the slaw's oh, fridge. Did you know? <clears throat> right. Maps. Big map. Always start with this. <clears throat> We're driving the Wild Atlantic Way. We started in Muff. We're going all the way around the west coast of Ireland and finishing in Kinsale. Today we have gone from Russ's Point and round to Formore. We're just about nearly in Formore. So you can see we're here now. And today is day five. Day five. So we're there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're doing okay. Right, so if I show you now on my plan, you can see day five, we have done this stretch here and we're exactly where I planned us to be. We're doing good. And just to finish off, show you where we've been. Today, we started out Russell's Point Beach, we went down through Sligo, we stopped at Strand Hill Beach, not camper friendly at all, it's got barriers, down to Ballisadare, if that's how you pronounce it, up to Argris Head, there's a beach bar there where you can camp, but obviously we didn't get there last night, Eski Beach, again, um, barriers on the car park, but there was some land there where you could park. Down to Enniscrone, and we had that wonderful seaweed bath at Enniscrone. Down to Bellina, where we got some supplies. Beer. Yeah. <laughs> Kilala Key. Lackenstrand. Down Patrick Head, which is not dog friendly, so Slaw popped the drone up so that we could see Dumbreast and the blowhole. Down through Ballycastle, oh, I have no idea how to pronounce that one. I've been saying it, Cady Fields. Viewpoint was closed, so we couldn't go in there. And then we came cross country. And around here and up 
to bow mullet and then we've come down this leg here and this is where we are muller grow muller grow it has got an irish name but i don't know how to pronounce it that's where we are sorry about the noise <laughs> jesse 132 miles today so slow deserves a beer it's not jesse it's billy scrapped it rug up no, is it? cheers cheers I suppose I better do some editing then. And I'll get in the kitchen. We all have our jobs, it works. Life on the road. <laughs> right, editing it is. And we've no uh, umbilical cord tonight, so. We're off grid. Off grid. And I forgot to say, as I always say on the maps, this is the road atlas we're following. If you're gonna do the Wild Atlantic Way, this is the one to get. It's really good. Right, move. Don't be rude. Get in the kitchen. <gasps> Might get messy. Right. Where are you going? I'm putting my map away. Where are you I going? Get in because of your chair. <laughs> I'm putting my map away. Tea time. What have we got? Fish cake, chips and peas. Beautiful. And Guinness. Right, let's enjoy. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. We had a lovely stopover last night. Um, we found it on both Park for Nights and on the, the map. Just a little pee, it's not a discovery point or anything. A little place called uh, Muller Grove. Lovely and quiet. We um, There was only one other van in the little car park with us. It's got toilets, recycling point, litter bin, and you're straight out onto the Blue Flag Beach. No noise at all, again, last night. And no wind noise, because we were very sheltered. No wind? No. So we would recommend that as a little park up. Yeah, cracking spot. If you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up. If you want to come with us on more of our adventures, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to be notified of when we upload the vlogs, don't forget to ring that bell. You can catch us on Facebook and Instagram for real-time updates. And if you spot us out and about, you could play... Spot the Slaws! And be in with a chance of winning one of our lovely mugs. ta -da. So come with us on more of our adventures around Ireland. Until next time, bye! Bye!